Welcome back to another Movies with Andy. My special guest today is Mitch. Hey, everybody. So, what's awesome about this is he's the original Movies guy <laughs> from the news station, Movies with Mitch. That's right. And then I asked him, I'm like, hey, can I do this on TV? Like, I'm Movies with Andy. So this is a historic moment for the first time ever. The movie guys are together. We actually went to go watch Bloodshot. I'm going to find the man who murdered my wife and kill him. Bloodshot stars Vin Diesel, and this is actually a Valiant comic? Yes, it's a Valiant comic, part of the Valiant universe. Comic titles such as Ninjak and Man of War and Bloodshot. Yeah, and Bloodshot. And Vin Diesel plays a soldier that died in war, and he gets nanobots in him, and he just can't die. He's another Deadpool? He's a Deadpool Wolverine mix-up. Punisher. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, best way to describe him. So, Mitch, what did you think about this movie? So, uh, yeah, if you saw the trailer for this movie, you saw the movie. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It's pretty bad. Like, the dialogue is horrendous. The plot is extremely thin. And, uh, I mean, I know we don't go to Vin Diesel movies to watch the acting, we kind of go for the action scenes, and even the action scenes in this movie just were not interesting. <laughs> so I heard you laugh right at the beginning, <laughs> because they get back from a mission, and what does Vin Diesel do? <laughs> Takes off his camouflage in a white muscle shirt. Yes. The but, typical Vin Diesel move, right? <laughs> exactly, but the thing is, is that he's sitting there, and he's got this, the fatigues on, and he just, in one swoop, <laughs> takes it off with one jet, one hand and just pulls the whole thing off and, like, walks right into a car. It's, like, the most ridiculous thing ever. And, and what I found funny, I mean, I think I just thought too much into it, was they just got back from a super secret mission, but his wife is waiting for him. Yep. But, of, I mean, I've never heard of that. I don't think you can even get on base for that. But whatever, you know. But for me, my biggest problem was the action scene, how you said all these cuts. Oh, God. Like, he, so, this, we're not trying to spoil it, but there's a, play, a part where he's learning his powers, and he punches a wall, but it cuts, and his hand's already on the wall, and it's broken. So I'm like, did you guys The just, wall. Not, yeah, not the, yeah, hand. yeah, the wall's broken. <laughs> so, was there no budget to show him actually, like, punching the wall? Well, you know, I know D Vin Diesel himself is a really in-shape man. Like, yeah. you see it in the movie. But you can obviously tell that the parts when he's punching that wall is not him. That's another <laughs> dude that's much bigger than him. <laughs> yeah, so that was my problem. There's just so many parts where you, for one, you can tell it's not him. And for two, they just cut away from the action. Yes, they cut away from the action. <laughs> Everybody talks off screen because <laughs> yeah. or off camera because there's so much ADR. Oh my god, yes. It's, it's uh, so... I don't, I don't want to get, get this wrong. I usually like Vin Diesel movies. I mm -hmm. like... The Triple X movies. I like the Fast and the... I, I really like the Fast and the Furious yeah. movies. The right. Riddick movies, Man Apart, uh, Knock Around Guys. All these movies are good movies for me. This was just bad. So was this him or was this the script? I I, I don't know because so on YouTube uh, there's a channel, Bat in the Sky. They did Ninjak versus... Oh, Bat in the Sun. Bat in the Sun, thank yeah. you. Sorry. Uh, they did... Uh, Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe. Yeah. And in that, Jason David Frank plays Bloodshot. I know it's a very small part, but he still... I think he did a much better job. Or at least the material is handled better. Yeah, and in that one, at least, he's not... He doesn't talk, does he? No, he talks. Okay. Yeah. I, the parts that I've seen, is he, I feel like he just doesn't talk. He's more just action and yeah. he just can't die. Yeah. But this one, Vin Diesel's just... <laughs> Vin Diesel. He just... He, I, he <laughs> thinks he has the best lines. Like, he thinks he delivers them amazingly. But it's always hilarious because he has these parts where he wants to be scary. So he delivers the lines, <laughs> like, super gruff and, like, deep bass. And then all of a sudden, the next scene is, like, has that smile and he, his, his voice gets much higher. <laughs> it's just, like, who thought that was a good idea? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, you already see where we're going with this. <laughs> I feel like as a just a fun movie you're gonna watch, maybe play in the background, 
to laugh a little because I heard you laughing a couple times because it's very cheesy. Yes. This is a super cheesy movie. That's what I'll say about this movie. This, if you love like 90s action movies, not yes. 80s action movies, yes. 90s action movies because the, the setup is the very beginning of the movie is almost the exact same as Con Air. If you think about it, <laughs> yeah. it's almost exactly the same. So if you love 90s action movies, this was a nice throwback to that. I will give the director some props because there are some choices that he makes, especially in the in the action scenes that aren't the super just cuts, yeah. but like the slow motion, the the way they use the CGI to use to create the effect of uh, the nanobots flying away and, and then coming come back. back. Yep. Like, but you see that in the trailer, mm -hmm. so it's yeah. not anything too special. It's it's just. I mean, the story is not that it's not that unique. It's it's RoboCop. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's every other person dying in the line of duty than getting a robotic placement part. You know. And I just didn't like that. There's no mystery. No. Like from the beginning, you can already tell from the trailer. So we're not spoiling it. You can tell what who made them is they're not good. Mm -hmm. So right at the beginning when he does his first mission, one of them tells him, you're just going to do this again for us. <laughs> we have you doing this for us. It's just like, why? You could have made like two to three missions and be like, are they good? Are they bad? Like, <laughs> There's just no mystery. And I, I just, uh, that really took me out of the movie. Like right away, that was like, very first, like, what, 20, 30 yeah. minutes? Yeah, 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so Mitch... How many Andes do you give it? Uh, I would give this a probably negative one Andy. Wow. It's just, I, I really <laughs> feel like I just wasted my time in the movie theater. I don't feel that way often. <laughs> like, I could have gone and seen just about anything else, and I think I would have in, enjoyed it more. Okay. Little retro. What about if we were in the 90s? How many Andes would you give it then? <laughs> if we were in the 90s and I was... <laughs> 10 to 12 years old, I would have been like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just got to see him blow, blow half of his face off and then kill the bad guy over and over and I over I've never again. heard this story. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard this story before. I've never seen this story before. But yeah, I, you know, it's 38 years of watching movies, I've seen this story a couple times. Yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't feel like I'm going to go watch this movie again. Um, I feel like it's really going to die down unfortunately yeah so i'm gonna have to go with one andy i mean that's my lowest he went with negative one so yeah i mean watch it don't watch it if you want to just have fun like if you want to relive the 90s go watch it but other than that i mean i don't think i could watch it or recommend people to go watch it so Anything else? I, mean, I, think, I think we said everything. Avoid it. <laughs> Avoid it at all costs. <laughs> and, and I had hope for it. Maybe it was going to be a franchise because they do have some pretty cool superheroes. Yeah, but, they have other cool superheroes. But I'm, I'm, I, just go watch that YouTube video I was talking it's about. It's true. Or the YouTube movie. It's a, it's a whole movie. It's it's like two hours long. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was just a series. Okay, well, go watch well, it. I think it was a series, and then they put they pieced it all together so that it's, it goes as a movie. Okay, well, go watch that. Yeah. It's in YouTube. You probably have to pay a couple of dollars. Don't go watch this in the theater. <laughs> so, Mitch, what do you do and where can people go find you? I uh, see. You can find me at the Geek Elite Media Network. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Mitchipedia G E M. Uh, Instagram is the same thing, Mitchipedia G-E-M. You can find me there. But yes, we have all kinds of different podcasts on our Geekly Media Network. You're a part of one of them. and you, I'm always wearing the shirts. You, you, you do a lot of uh, correspondent work for us because yeah. you were just at the last con. And uh, yeah, it's, it's Geekly Media. Awesome. I, did, I said it enough yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you do the same, like, I, I know your outro because you do it and I hear it and like, I love it. So... Anyways, you can follow me. You know where to follow me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, unfortunately, with a lot of movie postpones. Ooh, yeah. I, How are you going to do that? I'm going to try to watch movies. Because <laughs> Mulan was supposed to be in two weeks, but now it's pushed back. So we'll find out. Place Part 2 is being postponed. Quiet Place that is part the two. worst. I wanted to see that so uh, bad. You know. Well, just don't postpone Top Gun. Hello darkness, my old friend. Please, Tom Cruise, use your magic powers. Stop the movie from getting postponed or cure coronavirus. There you go. Or just, just cure the coronavirus. Don't come after me. Thank you, everyone, and please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Oh, they're going to come after me. <laughs>
<laughs> they are coming after you. 